So I want to talk a little bit about scalp micropigmentation today. Scalp micropigmentation is a great tool that we now have. We've had it for several years, actually, to augment a hair transplant. Sometimes we need to fill in some of the color there. It's also good for eyebrows. It's used in women for eyebrows for many years now with the microblading that's been become popular Then if you transplant the eyebrow on top of that, it's just a great three-dimensional effect. A really great cosmetic look can be achieved with that combination, but also, it's great for women who have some mild thinning as well. So we're gonna walk through some slides today just to show you what we can do with scalp micropigmentation and go through some of the, some of the facts about scalp micropigmentation. So it's also known as SMP for short. And basically the idea is to use pigmentation to minimize the appearance of scalp thro showing through the any degree of hair loss. Uh, the result is basically the cosmetic look of a much, much fuller hair usually at least twice as full as what you would have without it. It's also great to help you have a shaved look if you decided that you're not gonna do hair transplant, you like the bald look, but you don't want people to know that you are balding. This is a great opportunity for you to have that shaved head look without having to do anything else. Basically, we're using a, a highly advanced type of uh, cosmetic coloring and using that color to do micropigment deposits, just as you would in tattooing, into the top layer of the scalp to mim mimic hair follicles. It gives the appearance of shaved hair or a buzz, and basically it's also very good for people with thinning hair as well to fill in any cosmetic defects uh, that might exist or might not, be, might not be possible to do transplant for. It's also a great uh, tool for scarring. The big thing you need to recognize is that it's a very important to have highly skilled people doing it. We use organic ink products only and we use semi-permanent inks. And the reason we want to use semi-permanent ink because we want it to fade before it bleeds. All tattoos over time bleed. You look here, the fresh tattoo is nice and distinct. 10 years later, it's very faded. Basically, what we want to be able to do is make sure that that fades before it bleeds because we can always go back and touch it up and make it look more distinct. We want that very nice pinpoint appearance over the, you know, we'd rather that fade a little bit than, than to allow that to bleed. Here's some of our, our work, and this is a gentleman who basically wanted to go ahead and go with the shaved look instead of uh, doing transplant. So we filled in his, uh, his hair with the, with the pigmentation there. This is a great slide showing what can be done with women. So this, this woman had nothing at all done except for pigmentation. So she had SMP done, Basically, you can see a very uh, broad amount of thinning that she had, and in the after picture, it looks like she has twice as much hair there. If you were able to blow that up, you'd see the, the pinpoint appearance of the micro dots there from the SMP. This is a person who had a transplant done well before they came to us. Uh, basically, didn't want to go through that experience again, but wanted to have a cosmetic improvement, so we opted to do some scalp micropigmentation for him. This, this woman here has um, uh, an area of um, uh, there's a little bit of scarring here in thinning, and we were able to fill that whole defect up with the micropigmentation. And then speaking of scarring, this is a very common problem that we have um, with people who've had strip surgery. And strip surgery, as you know, can leave cosmetically disfiguring scar. And if you wear your hair long, your hair can cover that up. But sometimes if it's not done properly, you can have some very wide scarring, or if it's overdone, that can be worsened. And so this is a case where they, they did harvesting, they did harvesting again, and we're able to really camouflage that uh, significantly with the scalp micropigmentation. This is another area where there's some scar tissue we were able to, to fix, and then another scarred area as well, uh, able to all fix with just uh, the, the tattooing revision that we do with the, um, the SMP. And then finally, we have the shaved head look. This is obviously the most complicated one to achieve. Uh, but when done properly is spectacular. Unfortunately, and I've seen a lot of it, when it's done not properly, it's not spectacular. So we want to uh, be in the right hands and the, uh, the right people doing this. And otherwise you're gonna get a very blotchy uh, look and appearance with this. It's not going to be what, you, what you're what you hoping for. And the idea again is to have pinpoint dotting in a very random pattern that will show the distribution well and make it look natural as if you were just choosing to shave and not really had to have, just choosing to shave and not, not to accentuate your, your, your hair loss. And the other uh, pictures as well, you can see also African-Americans do very well with this procedure as well. So that's scalp micropigmentation in a nutshell. It's a great procedure. Um, we're always very happy to do it. And it's great for men and women. It's very safe, very easy, and can be done very well when done in the proper circumstances.